Hey, what's up? Yen here, and this is the Kinera Celeste Waven. Price at about $25, it's an entry-level IEM uh, from Kinera's sub-brand, which is Celeste. Now, these earphones uh, promise to deliver a balanced sound signature suitable for various genres. Uh, if you're interested to find out more, do check out the unaffiliated link in the description below. Now, uh, this is the box that it comes in. Uh, behind, there's some specifications, which I'll read out to you. Uh, the sensitivity is 105. Uh, frequency range is 20 to 20,000 hertz. And the impedance is 32 ohms. Uh, inside the box, you'll find accessories, uh, which is a set of ear tips, which is uh, small, medium, and large, and also the cable itself. So this is the cable. Uh, it's a two-core cable terminated with a straight type 3.5 headphone jack. Uh, the ear hooks are a little bit on the softer side and is terminated to the IEM with a two-pin connector. Uh, but it doesn't come with a carrying case, so um, you know a carrying case would be a good addition uh, for portability and protection. Okay, now let's talk about the design and build quality of this uh, Waven. Uh, and this Waven features a visually striking design, as you can see here, uh, inspired by dragon scales, uh, making it stand out in terms of aesthetics. All right, and the shells are made of resin, as you can see, uh, and it's, it's got a durable and slightly hefty feel to it. Uh, but despite its bulkier size, all right, uh, they're surprisingly comfortable to wear, uh, even for those with smaller ears. Okay, now the face plate, uh, as you can see, is a very nice design, and it's not only eyes catching but also well executed, reflecting Kinera's commitment to combining form and function. Now, in terms of technical performance of this Waven, it's equipped with a single 10mm LCP dynamic driver, which aims to deliver a balanced sound uh, across the frequency range. Now, the IEMs are easy to drive, making them suitable for use with uh, smartphones and laptops without requiring any additional uh, amplification. Okay. Now, in terms of tone and timbre, now this Waven right follows the Harmon target curve uh, with a slight treble recession uh, to emphasize the sub bass uh, and to create a warmer uh, sound uh, overall. All right? And this tuning makes the earphone uh, versatile and suitable for a wide range of uh, music genres, uh, offering a relaxing and enjoyable listening experience. Now, let's talk about the sound signature. Uh, I'll post a graph somewhere up here now in terms of sub bass now the sub bass on the waven is uh, pronounced right? it's very forward it's got a satisfying uh, rumble that is particularly noticeable in the genres like hip hop and electronic music and it offers a good amount of uh, depth and impact uh, making it very enjoyable for bass enthusiasts without overwhelming the overall sound signature okay uh, and this is supported by by the mid bass. Now the mid bass is very well controlled and it's very punchy as well, blending very smoothly with the sub bass without causing muddiness. Okay, uh, this balance ensures that the bass remains dynamic, engaging, suitable for most music styles. Okay, so a very nice blend of the sub bass and the mid bass. Now in terms of the mids, the mids are slightly recessed, uh, as you can see from the graph, uh, particularly uh, affecting the male vocals and some instruments as well. However, the upper mids are more a bit more energetic, uh, bringing the female vocals uh, forward and adding clarity uh, to the overall sound. Now, Overall mid range itself, right, is smooth and sounds natural, uh, making it uh, a pleasant uh, listening uh, session, especially for vocal centric tracks. Okay. Now we move on to the uh, Pina gain. Now the Waven, right, has a very safe tuning uh, in the Pina gain region. Now ensuring that the vocals and some lead instruments like guitars and all that uh, are clear without sounding harsh. Or shouty. Now, this characteristics uh, makes 
long listening sessions on the Waven very comfortable, uh, even at high volumes of uh, listening session. Okay, so very safe tuning in terms of the Vina gain. Now, in terms of treble, uh, the treble is somewhat uh, subdued lah. Okay, it lacks the sparkle and the air, and some tr some people might find this uh, a bit lacking lah. All right, so uh, I myself prefer something that is brighter lah. So this is not my kind of uh, treble tuning. Uh, while this makes uh, the Waven uh, non fatiguing, right? You can listen to long sessions without being fatigued. Uh, it might not satisfy for those uh, who are looking for a uh, highly detailed or a brighter sound, all right? So the treble for performance is average uh, for its price range, providing uh, enough presence to avoid sounding dull for the overall track, okay? Now, let's compare this with other earphones. Uh, well, basically, right, when I listen to this and I compare this with other budget IEMs, uh, the Waven stands out, la, basically, uh, with its unique design, the solid build quality, as you can see. Uh, while it may not match the technical prowess of uh, higher-end models, uh, it offers a commendable performance, okay, for its price, uh, $25. Its balance tuning makes it a versatile choice, right, though it may not appeal for those seeking uh, a more analytical or bass heavy sound but overall is a very good performer at $25 right so in conclusion the Kinera Celeste Raven is a compelling option in the budget IEM market and it offers a balanced sound signature robust build quality and a striking design and it excels in providing a clear and immersive listening experience across various genres of music while it may not uh, cater to bass heads or those seeking extensive uh, treble details uh, it delivers on its promise of clarity comfort and craftsmanship making it a great choice for both casual listeners and budget conscious audiophiles and that's it for my review of the Kinera Celeste Waven. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have a great day ahead and I'll see you again in my next video. Cheers.